Hey everyone, it's Jeff Douglas, Dr. Physical Therapy and Golf Strength and Condition Coach. And today we're going to go over some exercises to help you improve your backswing. So this is going to go over checkpoint three, which is going to be left arm parallel, and checkpoint four, which is going to be the top of your backswing. So we're going to do exercises that's going to help us get mobility and work a little bit of strength into those motions and things we want to look at when we do a backswing is right is our ability to rotate our T-spine, our upper back. You know, there is some hip rotation as well, our lat length, okay? Because if we are tight in the lats, you won't be able to get a lot of width here if this is tight, all right? And then that's where we fight and cheat. If I can't get back here, you might start bending in certain ways to try to fight for more rotation. And many golfers have different amounts of this rotation and width, and many successful players do it with not as much as other players who get tons of separation in their uh, back. But it's still good to work this motion, to strengthen it uh, for just performance and for injury prevention reasons, okay? Uh, technicality things, when we talk about checkpoint uh, three, you know, you don't have to think about this stuff too much when we're doing the exercises, as in like if you need this checkpoint three, you should start recentering in your actual golf swing. Not gonna worry about that too much when we're doing these exercises. Again, we're just kind of focusing on, can we get the rotation and the motion to get that available, to improve our range of motion in that position um, and get and strengthen it so we can own it, all right? So we will dive into some exercises here. So for exercise one, you're gonna take a band, you're gonna put it down below. You can also use a cable machine uh, for this exercise. You should do it in both directions, but again, we wanna practice mostly, right, our actual side that we swing on. And so I am a right-handed golfer, so this is in my right hand, and I am going to get my golf posture, and then I'm gonna take the left hand, and I'm gonna push it as wide as I can, getting that width back there. So now I'm getting that rotation in my, my back, I'm getting a little hip rotation, and now we're just working on getting depth and width with that, with a little bit of resistance at that range. So take it, kind of push down, you know, two, one or two feet from the handle, push it back, keeping my eyes, where the golf ball would be, right? And we're gonna keep working that range nice and slow and controlled with this motion here. So that's exercise number one. All right, for this exercise, we're gonna do a landmine punch. So you're gonna take a barbell, you're gonna hook it up to a landmine attachment. If you don't have a landmine attachment, put it into a corner of a squat rack or something where the bar can just kind of sit there and pivot up and down. Get into your golf posture. And then we're just gonna work on punching that barbell up as if we're reaching into our backswing. So it's here and get that nice long, again, long, let that rotation happen. Punch there, get that width. Working again, T-spine, this is gonna work a little more strength here in that full range of motion. And so that's gonna be your landmine punch. All right, for this exercise, we're gonna do a lateral lunge with a rotational punch here. You should be doing this exercise on both sides, but again, I'm gonna just do the side that would be my natural golf swing for this example. So you need a band anchored to a wall. You could do a cable machine as well. It's nice to have a slide board here, all right? Like a valve slide board. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start with a little tension and you're gonna go into a lateral lunge and that's gonna load this back leg Right, as if I were to get to checkpoint three or four, we start shifting back, we get all that weight on before we come first. So it's a load into that trail leg and then a punch and then come back, which is gonna work also some nice adduction strengthening here, which is something that gets neglected in our training many times. But lateral lunge, keep that knee in line with the foot. Don't let it come out here. I don't want to see you leaning out here. Everything is in here, sink back. So your chest comes forward, you should feel this glute working. Punch, working that T-spine rotation, working on that lat mobility there. Eyes down like we were golfing. And that would be your lateral lunge with a rotational punch. All right, in this exercise, you're gonna need two dumbbells. Keep it light, I have five pounders here, and an exercise ball, okay? What we're gonna do here is you're gonna come up to a wall. You're gonna put the ball right on your sacrum, all right? So not your low back, kind of right in your pelvis, sacrum area right here. You're gonna put some little pressure into it. 
get in your golf posture position here. All right, so got a nice hinge. You're gonna take your weights, keep them tight. And now I'm just gonna reach back like I'm doing my backswing. And then I'm gonna punch and get to my finished position of my downswing. So while the whole time I'm maintaining contact with the ball here, and then I'm just going through the motions with a reach and pull, pull and punch. Reach and pull, pull and punch. As you can see, we're just working on getting that width, a little bit of shoulder strength, and then just working on the rhythm and of that motion, that rotation in our T-spine there, while making sure we're not falling forward. That's the nice thing about having this ball. One, it makes it fluid when you can roll, but two, for many of you who are early extenders where you're falling into the shot, if you do your early extension motion, the ball is gonna fall, all right? So this is a good feedback drill to practice a little bit of early extension training to prevent it without even thinking about it because really, right, we're working on just getting that good upper back motion and lat stretch going on when we're doing this exercise. So that concludes uh, the series of exercises to help you with your checkpoint three, checkpoint four uh, exercises to improve that width and that rotation and working on a little bit of that hip rotation as well so that you can get yourself into the position you need in your backswing. Take care. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this information useful or helpful, please subscribe to this channel. Just drag that mouse right over to the red box, click it so that you're notified the next time that I post a video. Again, thank you so much.